police stations across the nation are facing critical shortages. Now here in Michigan, more than 100 police departments are searching for officers right now. 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith joins us live from the Michigan State Police Post in Taylor. And Matt, what issues are police trying to address to incur to fill these empty jobs? Well, there's a number of things that they're dealing with right now. I mean, you have a, a lack of people actually coming out for these jobs. You also have a budget shortfall years ago that led to many departments all across the state cutting back on their force. And now that they're trying to hire everybody back in, well, they're all competing for that same pool of talent that is stepping up and coming forward. So right now, it's just a mix of trying to figure out what the next step is to fill these positions. The, the problem we saw was was the lack of applicants. Roughly 18 months ago, Public Safety Director Ronald Moore saw a major issue. His department had an opening, but finding willing applicants wasn't so easy. When I got hired uh, about 24 years ago, I would go and I would test with about 100 other people for one position. If we get 15 to 20 applicants, we're lucky. Part of that is increased competition. A quick check online shows more than 100 departments looking for officers in Michigan. And it isn't getting easier to attract them. More than 40 police officers have been killed in the line of duty nationally. Two of them, Glenn Doss Jr. and Darren Weathers, died here in Michigan. Beyond that, there's concerns about how police are depicted in the media. Questions about whether people want to be officers. It's not just small departments either. Even agencies like the Michigan State Police are more than 300 officers short of their peak, even though they're adding 155 more officers, a shortage created by budget cuts years ago. For departments like Moore's, it's becoming clear applicants will not be coming back in droves. I think police commanders, police chiefs, directors of public safety, I think they need to go to the communities and spend more time in the high schools. Moore actually did something a little bit different than they had done in years past. They've started a task force so they can actually find new ways. They're actually tasked with the idea of going into high schools, going into colleges, but also trying to create a new way or a new way of speaking with young people, even as young as 15 and 16, so that when they get older and of age to go to those academies, they can start pulling them in to the department. A new way of looking at things. Now, coming up at 630, I mentioned that we are out here at the Michigan State Police Post in Taylor. We're actually going to go inside and see how some people are doing work and getting prepared for the next academy here as they prepare to hire more officers and roll them out on the street as well. A lot of departments facing the same issues, but a lot of them taking different ways to get ready and prepare to make sure that we have those people that are there to protect and keep everyone safe here in our state. For now, we're live in Taylor this morning. Matthew Smith, 7 Action News. All right, thank you very much, Matt. Of course.